Hello, Rockers and Mercurians. It's Rock Mercury here, and welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. Tonight, we're doing a recap moment. I had a very gorgeous, beautiful day. Even though it rained a lot today, too, um, it was still beautiful. There was a lot of sunshine, and then it was raining. I love Texas for that. Like, you'll get all the best parts of the whole year in the day, basically. But um, we're going to get into a few things today. I have a few new things to show you guys. Um, as well as a few story time items to talk about from the day. Just a few. Um, I'm here in the new house. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit quieter. i got to be kind of whispering. I just put the baby to sleep. He's so adorable. He's the most precious thing in the world. Like, not thing. He's not a thing. But, like, my most precious. My nephew. He's so precious. Like, it's just the most amazing gift in life. Um, so, I have right here a new drink that I have not tried with you guys yet. Hello, Drizzy. Drizzy's in the house. Um, I've not tried this one yet. This is called the Prickly Pear and Watermelon Drink from Just Made. Um, I thought I would try it. It has watermelon, prickly pears, tea, uh, a teaspoon of ashwanga, whatever that is. Um, a teaspoon is Cordis Celebus, whatever, Cure HD. It says, um, every time you purchase a bottle, of Just Made, we dedicate 10% to support families through the Help Cure HD Foundation. All right, I don't, what is HD even? Anyway, let me drink this. <laughs> and I have a lot more things to get into. We're also gonna eat a papaya, I have a papaya here, and I got some new essential oils that I wanted to, to smell with you guys for today. I also got some stuff from Walmart. I went to Walmart, but um, yeah, I'm gonna drink this first. Mm, let's taste this. Mm. Okay, it smells really good. It smells like really fresh. And um, I smell that prickly pear for sure. Because I've had prickly pear by itself. I definitely smell that in this. Oh, mm. that's really tasty. I like this brand a lot. It's just made. I didn't have it until I came out here to Houston, but it's really tasty. Like I'm, I'm definitely here for it. Now, if I end up having to run out of here, that means the baby, the baby woke up. I need to go put him to sleep. So just know that I may abruptly end this live at any point if he wakes up. Hopefully, he's still asleep, but we'll see what happens. Cause he's a little bit, um, he's in, a, you know, he's in a new house, and sometimes he may wake up. So just letting you guys know ahead of time. Mm. Oh, that's very tasty, very refreshing. I like this drink. I'm sure it's probably not like the seeded watermelon, which I love. It just says watermelon on the back. I doubt it's a seeded one, because if it was seeded, they probably would promote that. Um, but it still tastes good, so I'll give I'll give it that. Um, I have my HEB. Let's try out the HEB first. HEB. Love them. This was my first real job. Like, I technically, my first job was McDonald's. That's my first job I ever worked at when I was 15. I quit because I said, y'all are not going to work me like a Hebrew slave. Not here, not today. I was like, this is insane. Like, I couldn't believe it. I lived down the street from the job, and it was just, they were treating me bad, I feel. Um, and it was just a trash job, but I learned a lot about corporations from there. Um... I walked right home to, to my mansion at the, at the time. Like, we lived in a really good a house even bigger than this one. This house is really big, but the other house is even bigger. I'm like, why am I working at this McDonald's getting treated like this? Like, especially when people own franchises and you're eating, you're serving people trash food. They're overworking you, underpaying you. I'm like, I don't care if I'm in high school or not. Or this is trash. So then I went from McDonald's over to HEB. Worked there for like three years. Great time. I really loved working at HEB. Even though I didn't like working in general, like I don't, but I worked for a reason. I was working to pay for my vocal coach. That's all. I didn't really have any bills. So I was just like, I was working to pay for my vocal coach. That was the same vocal coach as Beyonce. Um, I, I worked with Tom McKinney and I worked with him for years. He was great. He also trained Solange Knowles on how to sing too. Um, 
I took some of what he taught me and I kind of mixed it up and did my own thing. Um, but yeah, I really, I really just, I worked every day just to pay for that, honestly. It was worth it. It was a lot of money. Um, okay, have a papaya here. He's out, he's out here in Houston, Houston, Texas. Okay, so this is, and that's the McDonald's I worked at too. This is the papaya. It's looking really ripe. That's why I picked this one today. It's from Mexico. Mexico papaya. What's up, Tyrone? I guess somebody called Tyrone. Tyrone's in the house. Um, let's get let's cut into it and see what the vibe. I don't really have the highest hope for this, but we're gonna check it out. Before we do that, I got a plate here too. So we're gonna check this. Check this out. Um before we do that, I do want to tap into these essential oils and smell them before I eat my um, f my food, um, my papaya, and chat with you guys about my day. Um, this one is sage. I'm super excited to have sage because when I looked on Amazon for sage, it was like super expensive. I'm like, um, do I need sage that badly? So I left it there. <laughs> this is 100% pure organic sage. Um, and it's from the Now Company. I like this brand. I have other essential oils from there. It's very healthy for... Wait, let me read it first. Let me spell it. Like, oh, yes. The classic snake stage. Oh, that's powerful. That is powerful right there. Clear those spirits away. Clear those spirits. Mm. You can burn sage or you can oil sage. Put it in your oil diffuser. I'm going to put my sage into um, my essential oil shea butter that I use for my body. So I'm going to put this in essential oils, but you can use it a lot of different ways. So love that. Smells great. Let me reposition this camera a touch just so that you're a little bit closer to me. I need y'all to come a little bit closer. Call me closer, tiny dancer. Shout out to Britney Spears. She has a number one song in the world. I love Britney Spears so much. And actually, we're going to talk about that today. Because I have a lot to say about that situation. And I'm very upset. Now or tomorrow, like in its own episode. Because I just feel like this is what's happening to her. And how her deadbeat ex, Kevin Federline, is just, just poisoning their kids against her. As if she's not paying for their whole lifestyle. As if we don't care about, the, as if the only reason we even care about our kids is because of Britney. Um, it's just, it's a mess. Let's, I, I want to get into that. I'm going to tap on that for a second, but I don't, I don't really want, I can't really be on here too long. I got some stuff to do tonight. But um, I do want to tap on that because I think it's very unfair what's happening. Um, so anyway, I smelled the sage. Now I have some tea tree oil too. This tea tree oil, I love using it. It's very good for like mild skin conditions too. Um, be very careful with it, you should dilute it. Diluting it is really helpful. Um, what is this? Uh, ingredients. A basically pure tea, tea tree oil made with pride and care from a, for H-E-B in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, it's made in San Antonio, okay. So let's smell it, that's one, I, I know my tea tree oil, I use it every day. So let me smell the quality of this one. Hmm. Yeah, it smells smells pretty hardcore. I have had different ones that are a little bit stronger, but I, I do smell the intensity of this. Yeah, that's good. It's it's this quality. I can tell it because I use it literally every day, so I run out of this quickly. It's such a good cleanser, keep you really like. You know, your immune up, your immune system up. I don't eat it. I just put it on my body. I like my lotions and my neck started breaking out. So I put it in my shea butter for that. And it started clearing up. It's looking much better now. It's looking much, much better. Just on the back of the neck. It's just so... Oh, I think it's from stress. Um, all right, let's get into this papaya. But I want to have some more of this drink first. Mm. So fresh it's fresh tasting i don't know if it's actually fresh but it tastes fresh oh my god it oh, y'all 
This is crazy. I did not plan this. But it says enjoy by 11-17-2022. That's my birthday. My birthday is that day that it, ex that it expires. <laughs> That's literally my birthday. That's insane that I would just happen to get one. It's also insane that it lasts that long. My birthday isn't for a few months. It's September right now. September. So all of September. October. Then November. Half of November. So it's two and a half months at last. I guess that's not too crazy. I mean, I don't know. The juices that we make for our company, we make homemade juices, my sister, for her sister's company, they last, like, they're supposed to be drank within, like, the same week or a few days. Because fresh juice is supposed to be drinking fast. So I don't know how they keep it that long, but it tastes good. So I don't... It says it has water, prickly pear, pear juice... Um, coconut water, lime juice, ashwanga, and cordy cordyceps, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Um, Pimp and Tacos here. Oh, I love that's one of my favorite people, one of my favorite usernames. Um, I don't know Pimp and Taco, but I like the username Pimp and Taco. That's hilarious. I live for it. All right, let's check out this papaya. I'm a little bit nervous because I just we weren't that lucky with our last papaya, but we're gonna check into this papaya here. Ooh, we're gonna try it. Okay, here we go, you guys. I got my little knife here. We're just gonna cut it open and see what it gives. See what it gives. How many seeds are in this, you know? We wanna know. We want to know. Get this cleanse in before bedtime. Oh, you know what? That's not bad. That's not too bad. I've had prettier ones, but it's like, it's not too bad. I will admit, you guys, that papaya kind of does smell like a fart sometimes. But it tastes, it doesn't taste like a fart though. Because th I know people are like, I don't want papaya, it tastes smells like a fart. Um, I think it's, it's really, it's really good. It's a really good, like, a really good flavor compared to the smell of it. Don't let the smell take throw you off. It's very healthy for you. Um, Mexican Masterpiece says, is maca root good because I'm on it? I need to do more research on that. I can't tell you if it's good or not. Um, I wish I could tell you, but I really don't know. I don't know. Maca root. Mm, I don't know. I have to research that some more. Per Pervico Perkival says I should call her. Call her what? Who are you calling? Mexican masterpiece says for show. For show, for show. I'll let you know when I when I research it, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna ask Dr. Sebi's son and see if he talks about it or if he if he knows if it's good for you. Alright. Let's see. Get into this papaya, y'all. Mm. In fact, if I forget to ask him, make sure you guys check him out too. Go to Dr. Sebi's son, Victor, on Instagram or, you know, BerlingoBalance.com. You can message them and they will get, they will answer a lot of your questions. They're amazing. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Mmm, that is so good. I'll drop some of the seeds. Oh, it's right here. Pervicol says, you bro, you're supposed to scrape the seeds off. That's not what you're supposed to do. I don't know who told you to do that, but you're literally wasting powerful, parasite-destroying um, minerals. The seeds are very healthy, very helpful for, um, for parasite removal. So... Yeah, I I don't don't throw the seeds away. That's insane. Mm. Hold on, you guys. This papaya is very tasty. Very tasty. Okay, let's see. Perfect Kyle says LMA O O O. Why are you laughing your butt off? Your mouth, your a off. He says I don't know who told you that. 
LOL. Yeah, I don't know who told you that. I have no idea who told you that. Like, that's... You're getting bad information and you're wasting very um, powerful seeds. Um, you're literally throwing them in the trash. Like, why even buy papaya if you're just going to go ahead and waste it? Waste all these good old seeds. Do I bite the seeds? No, I don't bite them. I just follow them. Ask your father. Oh, well. Drop Easy. Drop Easy says, I only eat them if I blend them. I can't do straight from the fruit. You have to swallow them. Just swallow them. You don't have to bite them. When you swallow them, you don't have to taste all that bitterness. But the parasites taste it. And a lot of us have parasites in our body from the foods we eat and from like the environment. Our bodies have parasites. You know, there's really got a lot of microorganisms in our bodies. You gotta keep things um we gotta keep things balanced out. Gotta keep your body, you know, mineralized. Mm. On point. This papaya is wonderful. Perfect Kyle says, enjoy then, buddy, LMAO. I'm enjoying, having great, doing great. Um, dope, D-Lope Easy says, LMFAO, ask if father is crazy. I mean, his, his dad knows that I swallow seeds. If anyone knows, his father knows. If anyone else knows, that's, that's, that's how we bet. Um, Perfect Call says, so spiritual. <laughs> so spiritual, I can't. Nania says, can you eat the seeds? Yes, you're supposed to eat the seeds. You're not supposed to throw them away. That's insane. That's insanity. Also, when you're eating a oh, seeded watermelon, why in, on earth would you throw away the seeds of a seeded watermelon when they have magnesium and all kind of other amazing minerals within them that help your body to... You know, keep your immune system high and stuff. Mm. Wait, hold on. I missed a message from Holly Joe. Holly Joe, how you doing, Holly Joe? Holly Joe says, rock the Casper. Rock the Casper. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Holly Joe says, I'm going to go get a papaya and try it tomorrow. Please do. Please do do that, Holly Joe. It really is so delicious. Get a good one. Um, make sure that it's like ripened, you know? Yuso, Yuso says, Yusuf says, is your diet alkaline? I wish it was. I wish I could tell you, yes, it's 100% alkaline. I'm the most alkaline bee in the world. I wish I could tell you that, but I'll be lying. Um... I'm not as disciplined as I would like to be. I am doing a lot more than I was, but I also had some Domino's pizza earlier this morning. And that's not what I suggest to do. It was around, we were moving, and it was some pizza around, and it was very tasty, even though it was... First of all, Domino's used to be disgusting. When I was growing up, when we had pizza days at school... Domino's used to be like the cardboard pizza. It used to it used to be better to eat the box of the pizza than to eat that Domino's pizza. But my sister ordered some yesterday because we were moving. We didn't want to cook anything. And I was like, I don't want any. I don't want any. And then when it came, I saw the veggie pizza. I'm like, I'm hungry right now. I got back from the gym. Let me let me have a bite of that. It was very tasty. <laughs> But I knew it was bad for me. I knew it was. I messed up. So I'm telling you that to say I do my best to be alkaline. And one day I want to be 100% alkaline because that's the best way to live. I really do feel that. Um, I'm not a doctor. But I do feel that being alkaline is the best way if you want to live a long life, a disease-free life, hopefully. Um, well, I'm still working on that. I'm still working towards it. Like I have a lot of discipline to do. Thankfully, I have friends like Dr. Sebi's son, Victor Bowman, who is amazing. I love him so much. And he encourages me and keeps and holds me accountable. And I still mess up. <laughs> so I have the king's, the king's son, who I think he's a king as well, Victor Bowman. But I just, I'm, I'm still working on myself. I, I really am. And I've been vegetarian. I've been in the veggie world for 
since I'm 15 years old and I still am learning. So don't feel bad if you mess up or whatever that means. Just jump back on the bandwagon of doing the healthiest thing you can do at that time. You know? So that's all I gotta say to that. Oh my god, Holly Joe is laughing at me. Holly Joe, why are you laughing at me? God, I don't know the Casper. <laughs> um have a good night. Take care. Says D Lope Easy. Thank you. You too. Charles says I had I had to have emergency surgery on my colon because of eating too many seeds, intestinal blockage. You can possibly have intestinal divots, like these little divot holes in your intestines from the acid of the regular American diet. And sometimes seeds can get lodged into those like those divots things. And they can putrefy in those divots. Um, and that can cause a tear or a hole within the colon wall. So maybe that's what happened. Or maybe some people are born with those holes in their in their system. Because they're, um, they may, their mother may have been eating acidic foods that go to the baby. And it just develops the colon a little bit abnormal. Um... I just, yeah, just be careful with yourself. I mean, these seeds, I think that even if they got lodged in you, I feel like they would still be healthy in some way. I'm not a doctor, but I just don't. I think that certain seeds are okay. Hold on, the baby's, the baby's, sleep, baby's waking up. Okay, you guys, I have to go. Peace and love to you all. I gotta go take care of the, I gotta go make sure to put the baby back to sleep. Um, peace and love. I'm gonna come back on later on. Um, oh, I got a new hamper, by the way. Got a brand new hamper. Close, um, dirty clothes hamper from, from, from uh, Walmart. And I got a new trash can. It says trash. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll have to. But, wait, it's okay, you guys. I gotta go. I'll be back a little late tomorrow. So, rock on, Mercury. And thank you so much for coming on today. Gotta go, gotta go help with the baby. Hold on, let's see anybody. Thank you, Holly. Holly says, yes, I bought cash. I'll buy a song. Clash. I see. You're soothing. I love your vibes. Thank you, PL, P3. Um, Holly Joe says, YouTube the Clash, Casper, while you're taking care of the baby. Okay, I'll do that after. Thank you so much, Holly Joe. All right, you guys. Rock on, Mercuryans. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and love. Rock on. Bye. And I'll tell you, I'll do, I'll do the story time tomorrow. I have a lot to tell you guys. So we'll do, when I'm at the gym, I'll go and do a story time with you guys. So. Stay tuned for that. Rock on. Bye.